Today we'll be making our fall arrangement in class. All the supplies that you will need will be located at the student center. As you can see, you need to make sure that you do an inventory check on your toolbox to make sure all the necessary items are in there. Other supplies that you will need is your turntable, your clock, your container, a brick of foam, and of course your cardette pick with your business card. Other supplies you'll need later on, and these will be the floral materials that we're using. So let's get started by putting our foam into our container. The first flower that we're gonna put in is going to be our roses. We don't want our roses to be one to two times larger than the container. So I have that other container showing you how high that they actually need to be. We're gonna set our first rose straight up and down, just like so. I could go down a little bit further with it. Then we're gonna go at an angle and we're gonna put this rose and it's kinda gonna be pointed towards seven o'clock. See how this clock face is coming to be used. It's very important that you're using this. We're gonna take this rose and we're gonna point it towards the seven. And I don't really like it there, so I'm gonna adjust it to where it's coming out a little bit different. You can move your flowers around, just make sure you put it in a different hole than what you already put, because if you don't, it's gonna be wobbly. The next two flowers we're gonna put in are gonna be our carnations. We're gonna have those in the windows of the roses. One's gonna be cut short, going into the foam at the base, kind of creating a line. And then this carnation is gonna go in between the two other roses at an angle. We want that carnation to be taller than the second rose that we put in. Next item that's going in is going to be three stems of Solidago. We're gonna clean those, or as I like to say, shave her legs before she goes out on her date. So we're going to put these in and create a triangle. You will see how when we insert them, one's gonna go in between eight and nine o'clock, the other one's gonna kind of face back towards 10, and then we're going to take our third Solidago and create the last point of our triangle and put it in the front. Be careful not to go through the top of the foam like I just did, but we wanna create a triangle. Other thing that we're gonna put in is our leather leaf. We're going to create bat wings and use the tips of the uh, actual leaf. So here I have some bat wings and I'm just gonna insert them in the center because what these are doing is we're covering the underwear. The underwear of our arrangement is our foam and we don't want our undies sticking out. That's against school dress code and we're not gonna have our flower arrangements doing the same thing. So here I am just inserting some bat wings, kind of trying to cover that up. We'll have other flowers in there to cover more of it up in a little bit, but I'm just gonna put in these leather leaf right here. We just talked about filler flowers, and here I am with these cute little button mums. We are gonna have another variety of button mums that we're gonna put in, but right now in this video, I'm just gonna show you the yellow ones. We're putting them in in clusters, so we have them kind of go in the front, just a little grouping, because flowers like to grow in groups. They don't like to be alone. They need friends. All the time we put these flowers in, except for the very top rows, they're going to be at angular stem placements. So it looks like they're growing out of the ground out of an angle. Now with our baby mums that we have, if we have spare ones, please put them in the flower hospital. Don't be a bad parent and throw them in the trash. Put them in the flower hospital. Other thing that we're gonna put in is going to be some of these fall leaves. I just kind of cut a few off the stem, taking the tape. I'm gonna tape them to a greening pick, or a green pick, not a greening pick, a green pick. And then they will get inserted into our arrangement. Just watch here, I'm gonna take, a, take and tape a second piece so that you can see it.
Now, the next thing that we're gonna put in is going to be cattails. We're gonna make a triangle with these three. I'm taking the biggest one, I'm putting it at the bottom, and then I'm going to take a medium-sized one. It's gonna be my other point of my triangle. And then my smallest one is going to finish out the point of my triangle kind of coming out towards me. Now, it's cute to make a triangle like this. You could also make them where they look like they're making kind of a fan, like a line. I will show you that in class. Here I am putting in those fall leaves, kind of covering up more of the underwear. Now I'm going to take a 20 gauge wire and I'm going to clip it and I'm going to make greening pins with it. So I'm just clipping it about two inches long and then I'm folding it in half and then we're going to use this and we're going to put moss into our arrangement because it's a fall arrangement and moss says fall for some reason and it just makes it look amazing so it's going to be cool. So I'm taking little clumps because you oh little goes a long way. Whoop, camera guy is getting a little crazy on me. And I'm taking this extra greening pick that I had, I'm kind of stuffing it down in between because remember, dress code, don't want our underwear hanging out. I'm taking the clumps of the moss and I'm hiding those little areas where you can still kind of see the underwear of the arrangement. So I'm just poking that in and that greening pick or that wire that I've turned into a greening pick is gonna hold that moss in place. Now we want it to look natural, like it just got there, not like we just crammed it in there because we have underwear and we're trying to hide that. So make it look like it's supposed to be there. When we finish up the arrangement, we're going to do some crowning glory and leaf shine. Crowning glory seals all the nutrients in. Leaf shine makes our leaves all pretty. And the very, very last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our pick. And then we're done.